In this presentation, we will take a look at the manufacturing concept of a just-in-time inventory system. The concept of a just-in-time inventory system is going to be that Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. We're going to start to put together the inventory after we get the order. In other words, we're going to get an order from the customer and then start to put together the inventory. For example, if we're a Dell computer and we're putting together computers, we're going to get the order for the computer before we start to assemble it. There are pros and cons to a just-in-time system. One of the pros is it's often considered to be more customer-focused because we can allow for the customer to give us a bit more customization if we're going to uh, create and put together the computer after it has been ordered. It's also helpful that we may not have to have as much cost in just inventory being stored if we're able to just create these these computers as we go. We don't have it. We don't need as much warehouse space. We don't need to just be storing computers. We don't need to deal with the risk of those computers that already have been assembled to uh, go down in value and no longer be desirable in the market. We can just build them as we go. So the concept is we're going to get the customer order and then we're going to schedule production at that point in time. Notice this has to happen pretty quickly. We need to because we, we want to get the uh, computer out pretty quickly. So all these components of production then are going to have to happen smoothly. And that's going to be one of the downfalls, of course. If there's any problems with any of these processes along the way to the production of the computer, then uh, we don't we don't have any uh, warehouse in order to just go and pick up a computer. So that's going to be one of the risks that we have. Uh, then we're going to get the materials just in time for production. We're going to go ahead and get the materials. That means we have to have a good relationship with our suppliers and make sure that we can get everything we need at the point in time of order. And as long as these things are all secure, then the just in time system uh, can, can the benefits will outweigh the cost. And then we want to complete uh, the just, just in time for assembly. So we're going to complete the parts so that we can assemble it. And then we're going to complete products just in time to ship. So notice all these things are basically happening very quickly after the customer has made an order. And all these links along the way for it to work well need to need to have good communication with our suppliers. We need to be able to assemble everything in a uh, systematic process and have everything done fairly quickly. If that's the case, then uh, we have the benefit of being able to have a more customer centered uh, design so that we can have some more flexibility in the types of products we're going to put together. And uh, that's generally going to be beneficial and what uh, customers are looking for oftentimes these days.